people what's up guys what's up friends and family welcome back to my channel this is chef colin from better taste kitchen and today i'm gonna make you some jerk barbecue wings and some mac and cheese so stay tuned for more okay guys so even though i'm gonna use some jerk seasoning and jerk seasoning is already seasoned i'm still gonna season my chicken wings with some powder season so here i have quarter teaspoon of onion powder quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning, which you could say Larry seasoned salt, quarter teaspoon of paprika, and quarter teaspoon of adobo seasoned salt, okay? And then we got some um, jerk seasoning, hot and spicy one. We're gonna use like three teaspoon of the jerk seasoning. And then I got some barbecue sauce to balance it out. I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce, like a cup of barbecue sauce for now. In the later, we're gonna add more. And my own little twist to it, I'm gonna add some sweet chili sauce to it. Okay, guys? I wash my chicken wings already with some vinegar and water. So, yeah. So we're gonna um, throw the powder season in. They all combine together. And I'm not going to make my jerk barbecue wings spicy. You're just going to have enough spice to taste flavorful. It's not going to be spicy where you'll be like, ah, oh, my tongue is burning. It's nothing like that. You're going to have a balance of the barbecue sauce and a balance of the jerk seasoning. So it's going to balance out. All right. We have one spoon. Two spoon. That's enough because it's spicy. Don't want to get it too spicy, you know. Rub that in. Quarter cup of sweet chili sauce. This is just to balance out the spice. Okay. Half cup of barbecue sauce for now. And then you wanna pour that in. Just wanna rub it in. So we get marinated properly. And look at that guys. This is gonna so juicy and flavorful. And I'm just gonna let this sit only for like 20 minutes before I stick him in the oven. Okay. So I'm gonna add like a cock full of browning some people call it gravy master just for a little color the thing about cooking you have to have your own little twist you can't always do exactly the same as others have your own twist there is no limit to cooking all right let that sit. Okay guys, so for my macar for my macaroni and cheese, I got a pot of water here. As soon as it comes to a boil, I'm gonna use this full pack of elbow macaroni right here. I'm gonna use one and a half of it. So I have two pack, I'm just gonna use one and a half of it. 
Okay, so stay tuned. One spoon of salt. And I'm gonna season the um the macaroni, so I don't wanna add too much salt. I have a half sheet tray lined with aluminum foil. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my wings on the sheet tray and put it right in the oven. And I have my oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Look at all that nice sauce. Look at that, look at that. Beautiful. Get everything out. Can you imagine how flavorful this is? Mm. Okay. So I want these wings to cook properly all the way through. So I'm gonna cook them for an exact an hour. Okay. So okay, I'm gonna have my mac my macaroni. Give it a stir. then you want to add some oil for non-stick just a little bit cooking oil So I'm gonna let these pasta cook for eight minutes. So in the meantime, between time, this is all my cheese that I'm gonna use for my macaroni and cheese. So as you could see, I got Mexican style, a blend of cheddar, I got uh, mozzarella, I got mild cheddar. I'm gonna use mostly mild cheddar. And I'm gonna melt my cheese, and I'm also gonna add a cup of whole milk okay to that so stay tuned for more first thing first i have a pot right here so i'm going to make my cheese so i'm adding my milk and then i'm going to add in my cheese okay so soon as my milk come to a boil i'm going to add in all my cheese and let my cheese melt okay So I'm gonna go ahead now and add in my cheese. As you could see, it's very hot, the milk. So it should be able to melt the cheese up. So start adding my cheese. Guys, if you try this at home, you're gonna love it. Trust me. Mozzarella. Look at that. If I make cheese sauce, very similar. Same way. Look at that. Mozzarella. So I'm gonna add some more cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna save some of the cheese to coat the top of the pie. But in the mixture of the macaroni and the pasta, it's gonna full of flavor. All the cheese gonna be inside. Okay guys? How lovely that is. Look at that. Wonderful. Better taste kitchen. So okay guys, my pasta come to a fully cook. To a full cook. So I'm gonna turn it off and drain it off. Okay. I have three eggs beaten. Season my pasta, pinch of black pepper. 
Okay. Pinch of seasoned salt. Paprika, the spice, not too much. Some some people didn't even know that you could season your mac and cheese. A little onion powder. You want that flavor, you want that nice good seasoned taste. And a little bit of garlic powder. So I'm talking about. I'm gonna go ahead. Pinch of butter. Pinch of butter. And then after you're adding all of that, you're going to start to go ahead and pour some of that cheese sauce. Look at that, guys. That's what I'm talking about. See, you got two container here a pirate dish and one of those silver sheet tray. You could make less, you could use a small box of pasta to make less. As I said, I have a big family, so it's gonna be gone in a couple of days. Look how nice that is. How beautiful that is, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm? What I'm talking about if you want to get your catering done private catering for any event baby shower graduation marriage wedding you name it anything coat the top with some cheese them style away I talk about to see it Better taste kitchen. We cook with flavor over here, you know. We cook with love, we cook with passion, we cook from the heart. We don't just get up and say we could do this. We're doing this from a tender age. So okay guys, I'm gonna stick my mac and cheese in the oven for approximately a good 12 minutes till you have a nice little golden brown color on the top. So put this in. Okay, 12 minutes. So okay guys, as you could see my macar my macaroni and cheese is fully complete. 
Look how beautiful that is. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Okay, guys, my wings is fully complete after that one hour. Look at that. Oh, nice and lovely. Look at the color. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna plate you guys up some food. You know the drill. So let me go ahead and plate you guys up some food. kitchen style and that's your jerk barbecue wings with your mac and cheese guys you know how we do it mm -hmm. 